What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Well, since Niantic decided to pull the plug on Transformers Heavy Metal, I was thinking to myself, self, how can I still show my enthusiasm for the Transformer brand on this channel? Then I thought, surely I can showcase maybe a figure or two from my collection or do a review or two. So that's what we're doing today on this channel. Now, before I go into this review, because I've never done an actual review on this channel before, I wanna let you know that I gravitate towards characters that aren't really mainline, mainstream, popular. I mean, we've got icons like Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, Starscream, yada, yada, yada. But what gets my engine really revved up are the characters that help develop the lore around those characters. Kind of like the background characters, even though this one particularly isn't a background character. And so today on this channel, we are going to review one of the latest Amazon releases from the Transformer Legacy line. This is Geaxis. Now, Jaxus was never in the Generation 1 cartoon or in the comic book or anything like that. He was a new villain created by the writer Simon Furman for the Generation 2 comic. Marvel didn't really have a lot of faith in uh, the continuation of Transformers as a brand or as a license, so they gave Simon Furman 12 issues and they said, if you if, if we don't see any good sales uh, from these 12 issues, we're, we're just going to discontinue the, the whole Transformer line as a comic. And so, tongue-in-cheekly, Simon Furman named this new villain Jaxus, which actually is like, gee, Axus? <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was kind of cool because for, for a long time, um, I didn't really know how to pronounce that name. I was like, Jaxus, Jaxus, Axus, I don't know. Throughout the years, GX has been known as a despot wanting to rid the factions of Autobots and Decepticons and any other kind of factions and unite all Cybertronians into one cohesive group. And he wanted to do this by force. He didn't want the Autobot Decepticon war, but he was willing to cause a war to <laughs> bring everybody together. GX has also been recently, in the recent years, has been rewritten as a mad scientist. So he performs like gross surgeries that had created different forms of Transformers. So he was actually written as the, the, the Transformer that created the first combiner, which was named Monstructor. Monstructor? Okay, I don't want to go any further down this lore, history, rabbit hole. Just know that GX is one crazy baddie and he's super cool to me. This is it right here. This is GX's. Let's get to opening them. Find out what if this guy's good or not. Alright, here we go. This is GX's. Right here, it says G2 Universe G Axis, Legacy, Transformer Legacy, Transformer Sign, Generation Rot Layer. On the side, you've got a nice headshot of G Axis and then the full body picture right there. And then this is what it looks like robot mode into Cybertronian Jet in 23 steps. This is the QR code that you can scan, and you could probably see some picture right there of what it looks like online okay so overall oh this side right here has the transformer legacy so you got megatron drag strip iguanas that looks like sky warp and kickback get him out of the package all right out of packaging that's what he looks like there you go that's gx's <laughs> that's the end of the review no uh he comes with two different guns you've got this red one right here and you've got this it's translucent isn't it so it's translucent, but they painted the gray. Let's look at the figure himself. People were uh, kind of hoping that this was not going to be that off-color white that they've been using on some other figures uh, in recent times, like Ape Face, one of the horror cons. But this is uh, actually a solid white. I'm really digging this right here. Look at the details in his shins. All that Cybertronian wiring there. If I if I were to get another one, I would probably actually do some panel lining like I do on my Gundam figures. They even did uh, took care of this back here. Like the calves 
are hollow or the wrist inside the wrist would be hollow and they did a pretty bang up job it looks all right that's exactly what gxs looked like in the g2 comics he's got this little sensor radar thing going on and right there is the G2 Decepticon symbol. He's still considered a Decepticon, even though he fights Megatron and all that. Now in the comic, he actually had two guns that were kind of similar in size. So this is kind of a little, little off. You know, so he's got this guy, he's got this little tiny <laughs> pistol right here. He's like, what up, man? I'm gonna get you. All right, so there you go. Um, you could probably also display him out like that. See, he, he is known for his wings and bat wings and all that. I honestly, when I saw this coming out, I thought it was gonna be just a heavy remold of the Seeker. So here's one of the Seekers right here. Here's Starscream, completely different. Although they share, you know, they, they share the same kind of like cockpit fake chest piece right there, but I mean, everything is completely different. Look at that. I mean, the nose cone for Starscream is right back here. His nose cone, it looks like it's right in there. Different transformation altogether. There you go, that's a Earthrise Starscream and GXs. Let's see what else we can figure out with this guy. His fingers, well, they're all to fit together, but they do open and close. Good articulation, that goes 360 all the way around. And his head goes all the way around. He can look up and down, sort of. Bicep swivel right there, elbow. And he does twist at the waist, no ab crunch. He's got, let's see, articulation out to here. Swings around. He's got knee bend. Oh, he's got ankle rotation. Ah, uh, I wonder. Oh, it does come with instructions. But I have a tendency to transform the bot on my own to see if I can do it, but this might be different. All right, well, I'll leave the instructions, instructions there. Let's see if we can do this. Alright, there you go. <laughs> I'm assuming that's right. Yeah, looks like it. So this is uh, Jaxus in his Cybertronian jet mode. The only bother is this little thing right here, but quite on oops, there you go. Quite honestly, I mean, you're not gonna be going like this and saying, oh look, you know, but it's kinda cool like that, that's awesome. All right, and I guess you could put your gun right up here as an extension or there's a port up here so maybe you could put it up here oh there you go all right cool but honestly you know if that looks cool and whatnot but wouldn't it be cool if they just kind of put it up here like the wings up here and then he's got like four wings right i don't know i kind of like it that way the comics and the instructions go because you know the instructions are saying do it do it at the back. I kind of like it right here. I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. That is G-Axis. Well, there you have it, folks. A Generation 2 Decepticon Cybertronian Despot Leader who has never been released in his actual comic book form for however, how, how many years has it been? What, 35, 40 years, something like that? <laughs> Who knows? No, it can't be that long, maybe 30 years. But they've made other Geaxuses in, in the past, but never looked in his white and red and gold and lime green type of Nickelodeon slime type of look. <sighs> Would I recommend this figure? If you're a G1 fan, a hardcore G1 fan, definitely. If if you're a casual fan and you never heard of him, it's still a good transformation. It really is. It, it's simple and intuitive. I, I have really no complaints about this actual figure. There's so many other figures that I have that there's got to be at least one little gripe. But this one, the only thing I can think of is, yeah, he's got hollow feet. But who's really going to be, what, am I going to stand him like this? Just on his back now. Oh, I see your hollow feet. Anyway, that's it. Jax's fantastic figure. And anyway. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and click that like button. Click subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Let you know I came out with another video for y'all. See you next time. Peace.